Welcome back to Movie Mojo. Today we are going to review the horror mystery film, Midsummer. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We upload multiple times daily. Spoilers ahead. After her sister kills their parents and herself by flooding the house with carbon monoxide, American psychology student Danny Arter suffers from severe trauma. Danny's four-year relationship with Christian, a cultural anthropology student, is further strained as a result of the incident. As summertime approaches, she finds out that Christian, Mark, and Josh, three other students, have been asked by their Swedish friend Pelle to attend a midsummer festival at the Herga, which is located in the rural Swedish region of House England. Josh, who is doing his thesis on European midsummer festivals, views the event as a once-in-a-lifetime chance because it only happens once every 90 years. In order to split up with Danny before the tragedy with her family, Christian did not discuss the trip with her. He grudgingly invites her along after a disagreement. When they get to the commune, they run upon Simon and Connie, a London-based couple who were invited by Pelle's brother Ingemar, who lives there. Danny had a horrible experience while using the hallucinogenic mushrooms he feeds the group, with visions of her deceased family. The group observes a testupa ceremony the day after their arrival, during which two elders plunge to their deaths from a cliff onto the rocks below. When one of the elders escapes the fall, the other members of the commune imitate his cries for help before mercilessly killing him by bashing his head with a hammer. Siv, a village elder, tries to reassure Connie and Simon by saying that everyone in their community does this duty at the age of 72 and considers it to be a wonderful honor. Christian also decides to write on the Herga commune for his thesis, which enrages Josh for stealing his idea. Danny tries to leave because the ceremonies are bothering her, but Pele persuades her to stay. He tells that the commune became his new family after becoming an orphan when his parents died in a fire. Connie and Simon are allegedly transported separately to a local railway station after demanding to leave. Christian learns during his thesis research that outsiders are occasionally brought into the commune for mating purposes in order to prevent incest. He is invited to participate and is encouraged to do so, but he declines. Mark gets led away from the group by one of the female commune members after unintentionally peeing on a sacred tree. An elder forbids Josh from doing so, but he sneaks out of bed that night to covertly photograph one of the commune's sacred writings. When Josh is apprehended and diverted by a man sporting Mark's corpse's peeled face, he is beaten and dragged away. The next day, Danny and Christian are each forced to consume a hallucinogenic beverage. Danny is crowned May Queen after winning a contest to dance around a maypole. Then, while older nude female members watch and imitate Maja's groans, Christian is drugged and takes part in a copulation ritual intended to conceive Maja, a young member of the Herga. The women of the commune encircle Danny as she experiences a panic attack after seeing the rite. A Christian who is naked tries to get away after the procedure. After being subjected to a blood eagle, he finds Simon's body on display in a barn and Josh's severed leg planted in a flower bed. An elder then causes paralysis to Christian. The commune's leaders explain during the closing ceremony that in order to cleanse the community of its evil, nine human sacrifices must be made. Mark, Josh, Simon, and Connie are the first four victims, Pele and Ingemar brought them there, the other four victims must be residents of the commune. Christian or a commune member must be chosen by Danny as the May Queen to be the ultimate sacrifice. She chooses Christian, who is put in a dismembered brown bear's body and housed with other sacrifices in a triangular wooden temple. The drugging of the commune members who would be sacrificed is supposed to make them immune to fear and anguish, but Christian is not and is left immobile. The building is set on fire as the residents of the commune imitate the moans and cries of the victims being burned alive. Danny tears in shock and despair at first, but she eventually starts to smile. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.